Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake. We'll join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The Jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest, and why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. You took your time. Did you wait up, master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. 
divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al mutabakkil What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Qabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Fulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Qabiha rose to become Al-Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafa. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad. <laughs> This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayyidi. Enough, Sayyidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows? She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door, 
My men dug her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. Postal Bureau. I will do as the Huyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. every corner of the Khilafa. Now to find Aribs. <sighs> Silence your song of sin or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearl of Please note that your payment of 15 dinars is overdue and must be... No. After the honey drips from her lips, a Thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. <laughs> <laughs> 